I can't imagine what it's like to be born with skin that's black, not white. I wasn't born rich, but don't get it twisted. See how I look? My white skin is my privilege. I don't get watched when I go to the mall. If I get stopped for a ticket, it doesn't end in a brawl. I don't know what it's like to go out for snacks and end up lying dead on my back. My car's never been watched or followed around. My kids don't play in parks and then get gunned down. I don't know anyone murdered for selling cigs or CDs. I've never been choked out or shot at by corrupt men in PDs. So I won't pretend to know how you feel, but I have something to say that's true and that's real. And that's an I'm sorry for how we've behaved, starting the very moment that you were enslaved. Since we came in our boats and shackled your hands and shipped you back here to work on our land. I'm sorry for scars you bear then and bore then and bear now because of wounds we have caused or allowed. To black women, I'm sorry we've made you a commodity, using your bodies in secret like a back alley hobby. I'm sorry your kids watched while you were mistreated. I'm sorry your husbands have been broken and beaten. To black children, I'm sorry that we've made you believe that you are worth less and you couldn't achieve the same heights as the white kids that are in the same class because you are so smart and you are not trash. To black men, I weep because my heart breaks for you. The mass has been judged for the acts of a few. You've done the best with the hand you've been given. White people, don't leave. Don't exit out. Please just listen. I know it's uncomfortable, but you must hear me out. This really is something that we must talk about. I know the history. Don't say it's not true. The past doesn't disappear when it's offensive to you. White Americans would say we're not all the same. Don't lump us together. <clears throat> I have my own name, and that's true. I get it. Not everyone is. But to say race isn't an issue perpetuates myth. To you, I would say that blacks aren't either. Please open your eyes and be a perceiver. Because if you would just look and be honest right now, you'd see that their mistreatment is what we've allowed. We act like they're poor and less than and gross. We make fun of their hair and their skin and their clothes. We reject them as people, but their culture we keep, like their music and dance moves, their style and weaves. Don't blame the media or call me mean names. Don't act like what I say is just for internet fame. This stuff is fact. Blacks have been oppressed. Cop manage every day to disarm white guys without death. Just being shady shouldn't cost men their lives. We're doing all they, who are doing all they knew to provide for their wives. And this is where you say not all cops are bad. If you've not exited out, I know you're boiling mad. But that logic won't stop me and I will not be hushed. We must speak for the... <clears throat> you're right, the majority of cops aren't corrupt. We must speak for the voices who don't have their own, who went out one day and then never came home. Like Eric Garner, Tamir Rice, or Miss Sandra Bland, not a single one of them held a weapon in hand, and still they were killed and no justice was served. They won't get to speak their voices. They will not be heard because they are dead and buried in dirt. Their families are broken. Their deaths were absurd. Say that I'm wrong and I don't know their stories. Do you want more names? I can name at least 40. I don't want your excuses or religious bicker. It wasn't Satan who pulled the cop's trigger. I'm not against cops, so don't make this about that. These aren't opinions. These are black and white facts. This isn't about black men or white women or cops. It's about senseless behavior that on all sides must stop. Whites aren't all racist and blacks aren't all thugs. All our lives matter. We were all bought with love. To move forward from here, we all need to change behavior accepted and futures rearranged. Stop blaming them like their deaths were deserved. We all deserve death, but our lives were preserved by Christ's work on the cross. He paid for our sins so we don't have to make mistakes again and again. Don't scream and don't fight. Start walking in love. Take the masks off your eyes and remove your kid gloves. We can't change the past, but we can change what's ahead. We can change who we are so less people are dead. With accountability for our actions and a voice for our cause, we can form new statutes and create new laws. We can set things in motion and have tough conversations. We can change the future for the rest of our nation. It only takes one person to stand up and say, I won't stand for this. This is not the way. I'm not sorry for this. This is how it must be. I will be changed. Change starts with me.